The question is uh, to find out the technical rate of substitution and output elasticity with respect to second output of a constant elasticity substitution production function. The question is for the production function y is equal to a bracket 1 minus alpha times x1 raised power beta plus alpha times x2 raised power beta whole raised power 1 upon beta beta is not equal to 0 alpha lies between 0 and 1 and a is greater than 0 we have to compute the technical rate of substitution and output elasticity of second input okay so basically what we are being given we are being told that y that is output is a function of a a is the efficiency uh, parameter what we uh, rather efficiency parameter what we also call the state of technology times 1 minus alpha alpha denotes the distribution uh, parameter uh, times x2 uh, sorry x1 x1 is the input 1 raised power beta beta is the substitution parameter plus alpha x2 is the second input raised power beta whole raised power 1 upon beta okay First, we need to calculate the technical rate of substitution. That is marginal rate of technical substitution. Our marginal rate of technical substitution between inputs x1 and x2 is being given by marginal product of x1, let us denote it by mp1, upon marginal uh, product of x2, let us denote it by uh, two subscript okay so mp1 means the marginal product with respect to input one and mp2 denotes the marginal product with respect to input two okay now what is marginal product of input first mp1 means the partial derivative of production function with respect to input x1 okay that means we take the partial derivative of this function with respect to input x1 okay so we have here a is a constant so we need to differentiate this partially with respect to x1 first we apply the power function rule that means 1 upon beta will become the coefficient okay then we have bracket 1 minus alpha x1 raised power beta plus alpha x2 raised power beta whole raised power 1 upon beta minus 1 okay by power function rule then we apply chain rule and internally differentiate that means del upon del x1 with respect to 1 minus alpha x1 raised power beta okay so solving this will give us so we have a times 1 upon beta uh, 1 minus alpha x1 raised power beta plus alpha x2 raised power beta so it is 1 minus beta divided by beta so we have 1 minus beta divided by beta now the derivative of x1 will be here again with power uh, by power function rule beta will become coefficient then we have 1 minus alpha x1 uh, raised power beta minus 1 okay solving it beta and beta will get cancelled so we will be left with you know we have a let's write this for a term first that is 1 minus alpha x1 raised power beta minus 1 then we have this 1 minus alpha this term uh, x1 raised power beta plus alpha x2 raised power beta whole raised power 1 minus beta divided by beta this is our marginal product of input first symmetrically we need to find out the marginal 
product of input second that means we partially differentiate our production function with respect to input second that is x2 again using the same method so 1 upon beta will become first the coefficient so we have 1 upon beta then we have this whole term 1 minus alpha x1 raised power beta plus alpha x2 raised power beta whole raised power 1 upon beta minus 1 and then we use uh, apply chain rule and take the derivative with respect to x2 of this function this time okay so we have alpha x2 raised power beta solving this again uh, we will get you know we have alpha times 1 upon beta uh, 1 minus alpha x1 raised power beta plus alpha x2 raised power beta whole uh, you know it will become 1 upon beta sorry 1 minus beta divided by beta and again using the chain rule here so beta we have alpha times beta will become coefficient of x2 so we have x2 raised power beta minus 1 again we have this beta and beta will get cancelled we can write it in this fashion that is you know we are left with alpha sorry a uh, let's write then alpha then we have x2 uh, raised power beta minus 1 then we have this term 1 minus alpha x1 raised power beta plus alpha x2 raised power beta whole raised power 1 minus beta divided by beta okay this is our m p 2 so which of what are you thinking now now let's write it here that means our uh, m r t s uh, will uh, 1 2 will be equal to so mp1 upon mp2 mp1 is this term that is a then we have 1 minus alpha x1 raised power beta minus 1 then this term that is 1 minus alpha x1 raised power beta plus alpha x2 raised power beta whole raised power 1 minus beta divided by beta this is our mp1 to this we divide this mp2 so mp2 is this very expression that is a alpha then we have x2 x2 raised power beta minus 1 then this term that is 1 minus alpha x1 raised power beta plus alpha x2 raised power beta whole raised power 1 minus beta divided by beta so it gets cancelled this term gets cancelled with this term a and a gets cancelled that means we get m r t s marner rate of technical substitution between x1 and x2 comes out to be 1 minus alpha upon alpha then we have x1 raised power beta minus 1 x raised power x2 raised power beta minus 1 we can write it in this fashion x1 upon x2 raised power beta minus 1 this is our marner rate of technical substitution between two inputs x1 and x2 next part is to calculate output elasticity of second input that means we need to find out the elasticity of second input let us denote it by x2 here which will be equal to dy upon dx2 that is second input times x2 upon y okay 
dy upon dx2 we calculated dy upon dx2 came out to be very uh, came out to be uh, this very uh, term here or let us say this very term is our dy upon dx2 so i can write here we have a uh, alpha x2 raised power beta minus 1 then we have 1 minus alpha um, x1 raised power beta uh, plus alpha x2 raised power beta again then we have 1 minus beta divided by beta okay so this is our dy upon dx2 to this we have to multiply x2 divided by y and what is y and we can write it here i don't have the space let's write it here this y okay so y is our original uh, equation that is a arc minus alpha x1 raised power beta plus alpha x2 raised power beta whole raised power 1 upon beta so here a and a gets cancelled we have x2 raised power beta minus 1 times x2 okay so we have x2 raised power beta minus 1 times x2 uh, here bases are same we can add up the exponent so it will become x2 uh, beta minus 1 plus 1 this and this gets cancelled we will be left with x2 beta here okay so x2 raised power beta minus 1 times x2 comes out to be x2 beta so let's write it here we got x2 beta now we have this term and this term here and i can uh, and uh, obviously we have alpha also here now we have the same terms in the numerator and denominator if i transpose this numerator denominator to numerator the exponent sign will get changed and it will get multiplied with this term that is i can write it in this fashion that is 1 minus a alpha sorry x1 raised power beta plus alpha x2 raised power beta 1 minus beta divided by beta when i transpose this it will get subtracted we have this term okay so this all is here exponent so we got here x2 raised power beta times alpha when we you know solve this exponent we have 1 minus beta divided by beta minus 1 upon beta denominator is same we can subtract the expo you know numerator 1 minus beta minus 1 divided by beta minus 1 plus 1 gets cancelled beta and beta gets cancelled we will be left with minus 1 as the exponent so we have 1 minus alpha x1 raised power beta plus alpha uh, x2 raised power beta raised power so this whole adds up to negative one and we can write it in this fashion that is we have alpha x2 raised power beta if i again transpose it to the numerator we will get one minus alpha x1 raised power beta plus alpha x2 raised power beta okay so this denotes our elasticity with respect to second input okay so what exactly does this mean it simply tells us if you know uh, if uh, input x2 increases by one percent then output will increase by this very much percent okay i hope i make myself clear thank you